Yo, what's up everybody, it's Byte Guardian, and if you're here, you're probably curious about Linux. Maybe you've heard whispers in the tech sphere, seen it powering servers in movies, or just want to dip your toes into a world beyond Windows and MacOS. See, Linux can be this whole universe of different operating systems called distributions, or distros for short. In this video, we're going to unpack the top three Linux distributions for beginners in 2025. Let's get started. First up, we've got Linux Mint, often described as the comfy couch of the Linux world. If you're coming from a Windows environment, Mint is your go-to. It's designed to feel familiar right off the bat. Think of it like walking into a friend's house and instantly feeling at home. You know where everything is, the vibe is welcoming, and you can just relax and be yourself. Now, what makes Mint so approachable? Well, for starters, it uses the Cinnamon desktop environment. Cinnamon is all about being intuitive and user-friendly. You've got your taskbar at the bottom, your application menu in a familiar spot, and your system tray tucked away neatly. It just makes sense. But Mint isn't just about appearances, it's about practicality too. It comes bundled with a whole suite of pre-installed applications that you'll likely need right out of the gate. We're talking Firefox for browsing, LibreOffice for getting work done, and even some light games to help you unwind. And here's the thing about Mint, it's rock-solid stable, it's built on top of Ubuntu, which itself is known for its reliability. This means you can expect a smooth, consistent experience without worrying about crashes or unexpected surprises. Think of it like a reliable car that starts every time you turn the key. You can just hop in and go, knowing it's got your back. When you boot up Linux Mint, you're greeted with that clean, familiar cinnamon desktop. Everything just feels organized and in its right place. You've got your application menu, where you can easily find all your installed programs. And speaking of programs, Mint comes preloaded with a ton of useful software. Need to browse the web? Firefox has got you covered. Working on documents, spreadsheets, or presentations? LibreOffice is a powerful and free alternative to Microsoft Office. Want to listen to your favorite tunes? Mint comes with a built-in music player. And if you're worried about compatibility with your existing files, don't be. Mint plays nicely with a wide range of file formats, so you can open and edit your documents, photos, and videos without any hassle. Overall, Linux Mint is like that reliable friend who's always there for you. Next up we have Ubuntu, arguably the most well-known Linux distribution out there. It's like the popular kid in school that everyone knows and gets along with. And there's a good reason for its popularity. Ubuntu is incredibly versatile, super user-friendly, and boasts a massive community of users and developers. Now, when I say massive community, I mean it. Ubuntu has one of the largest and most active communities in the Linux world. This translates into a wealth of resources, tutorials, and forums where you can find answers to virtually any question you might have. It's like having a global network of tech support at your fingertips. But Ubuntu's appeal goes beyond its community. It's also known for its long-term support LTS releases, these special versions of Ubuntu receive security updates and software maintenance for a whopping five years. That's right, five years of peace of mind knowing that your system is secure and up-to-date. Ubuntu uses the GNOME desktop environment which might feel a bit different from Windows at first glance, but trust me, it's designed to be clean, modern, and highly customizable. You've got your activities overview, which gives you a bird's-eye view of your open windows and workspaces. You can easily search for applications, files, and even system settings right from the overview. It's all about efficiency and streamlining your workflow. And just like Mint, Ubuntu comes bundled with a comprehensive set of pre-installed applications. You've got Firefox for browsing, Thunderbird for email, LibreOffice for productivity, and a whole lot more. And if you need something that's not included, Ubuntu's Software Center makes it incredibly easy to find and install new applications. It's like having an app store right on your desktop. But let's talk about what truly sets Ubuntu apart, its focus on stability and security. Because it's used by millions of people worldwide, including businesses and organizations, Ubuntu undergoes rigorous testing and development to ensure it's rock-solid reliable. This makes it an excellent choice for both personal and professional use. And when it comes to security, Ubuntu takes things seriously. It has a dedicated security team that works tirelessly to identify and patch vulnerabilities. Plus, with those LTS releases I mentioned earlier, you can rest assured that your system will stay protected for years to come. The GNOME desktop environment is all about simplicity and elegance. It's designed to get out of your way and let you focus on what matters most. Overall, Ubuntu is like the versatile all-rounder of the Linux world. 
Finally, we have Zorin OS, the chameleon of the Linux world, Zorin OS, the adaptable one. Zorin is all about flexibility and giving you the power to create a computing experience that's tailored to your specific needs and preferences. It's like having a digital Swiss army knife that can adapt to any situation. Now, what makes Zorin so adaptable? Well, for starters, it offers different desktop layouts that mimic the look and feel of Windows and MacOS. So, if you're transitioning from either of those operating systems, you can choose a layout that feels familiar and makes the switch smoother. It's like having the best of both worlds. But Zorin's adaptability goes beyond just appearances. It also includes a suite of powerful tools and applications designed to enhance your productivity and creativity. One of these tools is Zorin Connect, which allows you to seamlessly integrate your Android phone with your Zorin OS desktop. With Zorin Connect, you can receive notifications, send and receive text messages, transfer files wirelessly, and even control your phone's media playback, all from your computer. It's like having your phone and computer working in perfect harmony. And if you're a fan of gaming, Zorin OS has something special in store for you. It includes a feature called Game Mode, which optimizes your system performance for gaming by allocating more resources to your games and minimizing background processes. This means you can enjoy smoother gameplay and higher frame rates, even on more demanding titles. But let's not forget about Zorin OS's commitment to user-friendliness. It's designed to be accessible to users of all levels of experience, whether you're a Linux newbie or a seasoned pro. The interface is clean, intuitive, and easy to navigate. And if you ever run into any trouble, Zorin OS has excellent documentation and a supportive community to help you out. One of the things I admire about Zorin OS is its attention to detail. The developers have clearly put a lot of thought into making the user experience as polished and enjoyable as possible. From the sleek design to the thoughtful features, everything about Zorin OS feels well-crafted and purpose-built. Overall, Zorin OS is like the adaptable all-rounder of the Linux world. It's versatile, it's user-friendly, and it comes with a suite of powerful tools and features. Whether you're a student, a professional, or a casual user, Zorin OS has something to offer everyone. So there you have it, our top three Linux distributions for beginners in 2025. Whether you're drawn to Linux Mint's familiarity, Ubuntu's vast community and LTS releases, or Zorin OS's adaptability and unique features, there's a distro out there that's perfect for you. The best part? They're all free to download and try out. Remember, choosing a Linux distribution is a personal decision. There's no right or wrong answer. The key is to find a distro that aligns with your needs, workflows, and preferences. So, don't be afraid to experiment and see which one clicks for you. Drop a comment with your pick, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. This is Byte Guardian. See you next time.